So what's key in, in uh, using this iPad app is, uh, well, first of all, a couple of key capabilities. You might be able to see some of the perspective shift here. Hopefully yeah. we don't have a much of a glare. It's actually using the accelerometer in the iPad to then do, use that perspective shift, kind of creating a living picture out of that. And when you click into any particular image, you'll have uh, what you've taken before, and you're able to interact with this image. By clicking on it, you can change the focus, and then you're able to also change the depth of field by simply moving your fingers like this. So now you've seen, you see an image that has gone from a very tight depth of field, probably around F2, to a full in-depth image. Uh, in the next release of this app, we're also going to have the animation that we'll be able to do on the desktop to uh, have, have it natively available inside of the app as well. Wow. Um, you can see all your photos here. Oh, uh, yes. Can you also edit your photos? Uh, you can't edit all the photos. When you're actually uh, streaming them from the camera, you can uh, play with them to make sure that the depth of field is accurate mm -hmm. and the focal points are accurate. And as, again, a, a pro being in the in the field would be very interested in making sure that whatever they've taken right there is going to work for, yeah. for what they had envisioned. So it's more for reference than for editing? Yes, uh, I mean the capability on the desktop really has so much more to offer, so we're trying to make this more of a viewing and a basic editing and uploading platform.